Biggs Rivers, what go on? New York City. Yeah, man, people, Biggs Rivers are really out, you know? Well, if a man has them red foot or hype and beauty, keep the party at New York, I mean, I see them. Biggs Rivers play over Juggies and him say, yo, foot away, well, me left me and forward over there. And the man forward over there. I'm forward late, but I understand because he have work. I still make sure he's safe even five seconds before the party that I'm showing him face. You understand what I say? Um, I want to big up everybody who followed out at Gellis Windsor last night. Shout out to the birthday girl, Jan Extraordinaire. Um, shout out to the birthday you, I remember his name. Yo, the man danced on the whole place, yo. I <laughs> wonder if the man is part of Ravers, or if an elephant man brother. <laughs> yeah, last night was a, a vibe, you know. Big up the whole Northside family, Sweetback Smoke Shop, G4 Steam, Benzo Click, 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 Click. You know, the whole team, Quincy, you know. All our dancers, the male and female, you know? Really appreciate everybody coming out. Big up Asset, big up Smoky Fire, big up Congo Blacks, big up, yo. Crazy people, crazy people. No sound? Wanna not hear me? Wanna not hear me? Wanna hear me? Talk to me, people. Talk to me. Okay. So, when I waste so just no sound, make me I get fine. Alright, so. Gallis Windsor was amazing last night. Um, really like the vibe and the energy. Um... I want to give thanks to all who come out, all who support. Big up Loom Arthur, he was the first person reaching there last night. Um, I want to big up the chef at, at the spot, bar and grill. He's an Asian chef, so you know me, the kind of skeptic. Um, he served me some sauteed shrimp last night with yellow rice. He yeah, made some rice last night, car. Them, them now have the Jamaican something them so I mash up some rice. No man forgot to cleanse out that today. See? So um a lot of my guests them I said the chef bad. So that is a, a big plus. Cause you know it's a new venue and you know we never know what to expect from the chef. So we have to big up the chef from at the spot lounge and bar bar and Launch, yeah. So overall, last night was a good night. Um, you know, of course, Golden State also won their game by 13 points, which is amazing. Which takes us to 10 and one, meaning we've won 10 games and we have only lost one. So at this present moment, we are number one in the NBA. And games won, all right. And we are number one on defense, also. And we also have the only player so far since this season with a 50 point game, which is the great, great goat of right now, Stephen Curry. Okay, so I need not to argue with Baba or Super Twitch or Jonas King or Gandhi or any of the Lakers fans. I am not in any discussion with them right now. Prada cannot talk to me. He cannot message me about basketball or anything. We can talk about food. We can talk about tug life. We can talk about that. But if Prada talk to me about basketball, we're going to have a problem. Okay? I remember Clay Thompson has not been ignited yet. Wise man has not been ignited yet, so you understand so anyway real reason why I come live now come I can turn up my voice and talk. Let me take off my glasses. Come on, nobody feel like say. 
me eye me face and me true image and wah see if the light I can shine a little bright for this hear me as you me wah make this clear to the entire world see it me no I have nothing to do with Christians and Christianity see I do not want to have anything to do with Christians or Christianity and you hear me I say now this is a topic where a lot of people like how oh, many talk about religion because you know I face the truth I like speaking about religion because if you're going to speak or if you're going to give your soul to a certain movement and a certain organization or one soul you have you have to research and study and make sure say, you are going to give your soul to the right place and as far as my studies prove and as far as my research prove Christianity in itself is a evil wicked terrible organization that is built on evil wicked savagery and devilish behavior you understand what I'm saying to you I want you people to listen to me very carefully I do not want to be associated with Christianity. Somebody type and says with Christian by our body. Yeah, over here them for put the money. And stop put the money in the pedophile them and stop give money to an organization that is raping, murdering, slaughtering children and adults alike. You understand what I'm saying? As far back, because I know some Christian, I guess, oh, they might hide behind Christianity. And, oh, you have good Christian, I have bad Christian. If I use a laptop to play, I mean, like going to some good examples and some, some good scenarios and, and stuff, right? So, if me put a hype of a laptop, right? And the laptop. A virus, right? So the laptop a virus and it a get chubby. How am I going to secure this this laptop? Zin, I would have to wipe my laptop clean in order to get rid of these viruses that are causing problems. Okay, so. If you have an organization that is so-called supposed to be built on good and proper values, see? But all evidence proves that evil people and bad people have invaded and infiltrated your organization. Me know that a foolishness in about me on Glatar because me know what they're going to say. So me I say, if you know what say, Evil people are infiltrate um, the church and Christianity. You have to expunge the situation. We have to bring Christianity and the church to zero, and then try reform and build it back. But as long as the viruses are there murdering and destroying the image of the true purpose of Christianity I mean I have nothing to do with it from me born me a 40 year the world well now Zine Jigga most famous who are going brother me 
a fortieth. My father, I must say seventieth or eightieth. See? My grandparents, them dead and gone. At nearly a hundred each. See? And from where Abel Christianity till now. See? 99% of the the preacher them and the priest them the person them who stand in the front line of Christianity are pedophiles are homosexuals are rapists see from we born till now from a mother born till now from a granny born till now alright from we born till now we know say Christianity is the head of slavery if we are to calculate the amount of genocide we not talk about regular murder genocide meaning millions of people were murdered and wiped off the face of the earth through slavery a Christianity do that you know so I am saying after so much physical, biological, and spiritual evidence that this movement is responsible for most of the gruesome, evilest, demonic behaviors on the face of the earth, why, why would I or anybody else want to be a part of that organization that is my big question why do you still that still believe that this organization is the epiphany of the almighty's connection to man nothing can go so it no right nothing can go so brother Bro, I don't have no time for both me about no Catholic or Evangelist or Pentecostal. The whole Christian organization is of the devil. And the Catholic is the head of it. So you can't say you're not Catholic and then you're Evangelist or you're seventh day. The whole of them fall under the same thing. All of them. And I am here telling you people that based on observation and based on physical, spiritual and mental evidence Christianity is the worst thing where happened to the human race Christianity has to be of the devil it is impossible for Christianity to be of the same God where we serve, where we say God of love and God of light and God of it can be I want different God them are serve, them are wicked. Christians are the wickedest people on the face of the earth. I may say that without apology because me see me and one of them personally we are gonna see something and see it clearly and still tell myself a lie. Say I saw it go. Me no brainwash. Me no under that mental bandage then. Me free from mental slavery. Them can't trick me. Oh, me if you still believe in this day and age, when me see where them are going with, clearly, transparently, said them is of God. Christians are not of God. Feed them God, I want different God. And a God of love and light and peace and everything. Based upon my studies and my observation, me get to realize there is no war in the world. None. No war like World War I, World War II, like US versus Afghanistan, US versus Iraq, all of these things. The United Kingdom versus the city of Troy, Rome versus um, um, Egypt, the, all of these things were 
approved by Christians. Christians have the last say in a every decision of who goes to war. So I like Christian them are ready to come for me and argue with me. Make sure you know the part I they say. The armies were in the world thing, in the UN. All I army them are connected to the UN are given orders by Christians. All of them. A Christianity run law, boy. A Christianity response to all soldiers and all police. Okay? No joke. At them govern the police force and the army them. Christian. When Donald Trump in a poem hear crazy people about yo we don't like we don't like Donald Trump and the man tell us him is a vivid Christian. For any man I swear the man tell us he's a Christian and him come for war with all Muslim, all all other religion the man say I'm a burn out. And get rid of them out of America, you remember? You remember that? Do you remember that? You remember that? May I ask you? Know? May I ask you? Hello? 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 Yeah. Futa! What's on? What's on, fam? How old is it? I can't see you. Later. My family footer, you know my voice? Later, my family, later. No love. No respect, fam. No respect. <laughs> Say the call to talk to me about nothing on the, on the topic. Huh? Say the call me to talk about nothing on the topic. No, that's bless me, that bless you, my fam. <laughs> so, yeah, I deserve so far. You want it? Yeah, that knows someone. I want it already. You know what you want? You know what you want? I want your foot. I don't know who I'm talking to all now. Stop it now, but you don't know who you're talking to all now. Later. I'm going to call you differently. I'm going to call you and talk to you. Bro, I've got to look for you. Ah, in the corner, man. Yeah. I'm going to have a All right. <laughs> Yeah, some people are asked what the topic. But as I try to tell the world, see, I do not want to have anything to do with Christianity or Christians. Christian them can allow me out. They may avoid my kids them. Avoid me. See? Me deal with the humans. Me not want all no Christian other. Me not want to be a part of the organization. Them. Me not trust nobody who is a part of that organization. Me no, me not trust no pastor. Me not trust no deacon. Me not trust nobody will get baptized in a Jesus name. Me not trust none of them. Me not want too close to them. Me not want to the name a pick me them. You understand? Me not want to have to deal with. And that are the topic today. I'm a serious about that. Me no want no more proof. If you know say Christianity is a demonic movement, it can't be. I know not no good. I know not no good. Yeah, big man thing. You see me? Three. You see me? And that me I try to tell people. 
Is it? Yeah. You know, uh, uh, any big Christian uh, forward and uh, reason with me. Is it? Beauty with class. Well, if I three quarter of the world, that are the thing. Me not try fit in with nobody. Me not try fit in with nobody. Because the reason why Christianity is so big and so powerful is because they're wicked than everybody. And them force them things on everybody. Them use the law, the police, which is them inchman, which is them gang, and the army, which is them gang, to enforce them belief and them add up on people. Which other religion? You see, force in a them in a school curriculum. No song, no lullaby, where I push them religious belief. Nobody, nobody. Every school in a Jamaica, you have to sing "Jesus Love Me" the sign up. Our Jesus Love is a bubbling over on them sir. And I may I tell? I ask you if I lie, may I tell? Only well, never know said so that I brought force. Why the Christian lullaby them and the hymn them have to be a part of your, your school curriculum? Why? 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 Somebody tell me. Hello? Oh, sorry. One second. Let me try to turn it. Yeah, hi. Hi, good morning. <laughs> Sorry, it's evening here, but good morning. Are you in England? <laughs> yeah, I'm in England. Okay, what's popping? What? Do you have anything to say about what I said? Yes, I have a lot to say. Okay. I agree with you because I grew up with a whole family believing in tradition. Mm -hmm. Um that's one, and in Christianity. So it was Catholic originally, right? Mm -hmm. So to this day, all my family are Catholics, and I was put in Catholic schools from when I was a little girl. Right. And I was always creeped out. So every few days, we'd have to go to Mass, you know, like in the morning for registration. I always used to feel uneasy. I'd be in there like this, and I'd just be cringing, Yeah. It's from that time when I started to feel like I don't feel comfortable. Yeah. I don't feel confident. I always felt like there's some horrible spirits in the church, you know? Uh -huh. I used to feel like the church was haunted even. And then years later, we see, we see this whole finding bodies and children and what they did to children in the past start getting revealed. Then the Pope situation came out. And I'm going to be so honest with you. I look like the bad one in the family. Like I've got issues to do with Christianity because I'm the only one that was speaking against it. <laughs> and then they put me in a secondary school, like a, the next level. And I used to go toilet sometimes and the same thing. It felt haunted. So when I became, you know, like a full on adult and I could talk for myself, I just kind of took myself away, if you get what I mean. So I respected the whole, I respected my family, but from a distance with the Christianity stuff. So I still look like the bad one, like the pagan. But when I started hold to on, watch Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me say your background, I mean, nice. let, me, let me come out of the app oh, and come in back and see if it's my phone. Hold on. No, 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 no. Um, you stay, you stay. I'm back. Oh. I'm back. Oh, okay. People don't tell me now? if you're not hearing me better now. Yeah, it's actually clearer now because it was echoing before. Okay, great. So continue. Yeah. So um, I look like the pagan, you know, the one that don't hear and the one that don't want to follow everybody in the family. Mm -hmm. So I can, I, I'm glad I grew up and I was smart enough to just kind of take myself away from it all and I don't inflict that on my children. So... Watching you and listening and learning more made me see that I wasn't wrong. Because okay, this, you've been spitting facts for years. And this is a crazy right. thing now, right? The the evil man has cooned a way to get 
parents to demonize them children. Right? Yeah. So like mm -hmm. it's an inborn um programming. So once you come out of mm -hmm. the vagina, your mother's first thing she thinks about is the christening day to get you christened. Christened Christ. That's right. Chris mm -hmm. You notice Christ is at the front of that, right? And then you have yes. Jesus Christ. No, there is a mm. Christ, but it's not Jesus Christ. No, they they notice yeah. you know, they do wordplay. So when you speak of Christ, mm -hmm. automatically your brain goes to Jesus Christ. That's true. But it's not the same thing. But they make it seem mm. like it's the same thing. Because Jesus That's in correct. front of Christ makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have Futa, the viral king. The viral king mm -hmm. makes a big difference because it's not just Futa yeah. Hyde, a regular person. It's the viral mm -hmm. king, meaning somewhere after do with viralness connected to me. Mm -hmm. So that gives you name yeah. ownership or uh, places you in a department, a certain category. So, yeah. you saying Christ is totally different from you saying Jesus Christ. Christ. One, right. one of you understand what I'm saying? No. I do. Mm -hmm. They have programmed parents. It's, a, it's, a, it's like a loop. You have a loop of CD, a loop of song, and it just keeps going around and around and around. They have learned to create a human loop. So now, the demon sitting in the high chair can sit down and know that parents are going to doctrinate their kids into the demonic rituals without That's the true. demon boss of it That's correct. So it's like, first it was illegal to read. Mm -hmm. Black people were mm -hmm. murdered. Mm -hmm. You get the hand chop off. You get um, murdered in front of your peers for um, reading. So reading was a, reading was a crime. Mm -hmm. Because of ancestral persistence and inner spirit persistence, we thrive to learn to read at all costs. Now, mm -hmm. when they realize that the black man is not going to live and not be able to read they decided that okay if black people are going to read we are going to decide what they read what they read mm -hmm. they never exactly. they never handed us they never handed us mm -hmm. education as a tool of evolvement or support or becoming greater persons they yeah. gave us because we mm -hmm. took it, mm -hmm. we fought That's and true. obtained reading of our own. So when them realize, mm -hmm. say, yo, them get to you know, them I read now. Yeah. So they decided, okay, we are going to decide what they read. So mm -hmm. this is where they came in with the Bible. And make sure mm -hmm. that the first set of things we are reading is about mm -hmm. Jesus. That's correct. So mm -hmm. now, yeah. think about this. Why would somebody that was chopping off your hand a few weeks ago, you caught your eyeball mm -hmm. 